Hello my friend, it barely took a few days for the weather to shift. The thick layer of ice that covered the lake for so long is slowly melting. It feels divine to come into contact with the warm sun again. A little bee winged to my kitchen earlier on. She had a message to deliver. Spring is about to start and just as nature, humans are also about to enter a new energy cycle. The time for starting new things and ponder about new ideas arrive à grand pas. This season of rebirth gets me excited, but all things considered, I've actually been feeling quite guilty for that. It feels like I shouldn't care about such unimportant things while a new war has begun. Poverty, famine, crimes, abuse, sickness and war all are and have always been part of the real life, yet Not watching the news and living in a secluded place can make you forget about this world of chaos. What is happening now in Ukraine is unspeakable. I just wish so many of us weren't powerless. Each day I'm praying for these people to hopefully relieve even a tiny bit of their pain. I'm naively hoping for the world to come to a peace settlement. I focus on spreading love instead of fear. And I try as much as I possibly can to support local businesses rather than feeding those big corporations playing us. I'm a little scared for what lies ahead. I've been living here in Sweden for two months now. I feel so fortunate to get up each day among this beautiful nature. Everything seems slower on this land. The grass is so soft and sometimes the scenery even seems to be frozen in time. Strolling each day in the Swedish wilderness has uplifted my soul. This neck of woods surrounding me made me grow. I feel different. Thank you.
Living alone has always been a dream of mine. Multiple years living with flatmates got me exhausted from life in community. So I always thought the farthest away I could get from people and social interactions, the happier I would get. I was wrong. During my time here, I didn't even have a neighbor that could possibly try talking to me. It did not take long for the social void to delve inside me. Whether we want it or not, we are social creatures. The 14th and present Dalai Lama stated a wise truth. He says, We human beings are social beings. We come into the world as the result of others' actions. We survive here in dependence on others. Whether we like it or not, there is a hardly moment of our lives when we do not benefit from others' activities. For this reason, it is hardly surprising that most our happiness arises in the context of our relationships with others. He said it all. It's been a bit of a controversial time for me. I was so content not having to talk to anyone. And at the same time, I was craving intimacy. I so wanted to connect and dive deep into a conversation with anyone. Where I'm from, we greet each other. On se serre la main, on se fait la bise. And we stare at each other a lot. Too much. I was surprised to notice how rare it was for people just to say hello here. I won't lie, I often tried to make sense of their social ignorance. Every time I went grocery shopping, I felt like I was invisible. I tried to give a smile away to strangers now and then. They all looked at me as if I were crazy and ran away. <laughs> I wanted to learn from them. And I did. Swedish people are socially different. They are very straightforward and have no time for useless talks. It's quite wonderful, actually. Neither time nor energy are wasted. To my opinion, and it's only just mine, Swedish souls carry both the heaviness and beauty of the Viking's culture, while a lot of their behavior system seems to be ordered by karmic patterns, I can also feel that they are healing this heavy unwanted karma and are slowly opening their heart to the unknown world. For different reasons, well, some being obvious given the recent actions of Russia. I am leaving Sweden. It is not the main reason why, but that is one of the reasons. So I will be saying au revoir to my cottage in about two days. And after that, I will be traveling around Scandinavia for a few weeks on the verge for new adventures and new beginnings. I don't really know what to do next. I don't even know on what land, which land, I'm going to draw breath on. Truth be told, I don't know either how am I going to afford the rent in the near future. But I'm learning to embrace each day as it comes, whatever tomorrow may or may not bring. On verra bien.